quote from Stephen Hawking, There is no doubt that our planet Earth will one day be uninhabitable. I am convinced that humans will have to leave the solar system and travel to the stars. What will we humans do when our Earth is no longer habitable in the distant future? NASA has an exciting answer to this question. Planets that are even more habitable than Earth could be the solution for humanity. The Kepler telescope has discovered over 2,000 exoplanets, but the problem remains that these planets are currently inaccessible to us. Nevertheless, there are some worlds in the universe that are so fascinating and promising that we will certainly do everything we can to actually visit and possibly colonize these perfectly suitable super-Earths one day. All planets outside our solar system are exoplanets. Some of these worlds are different from the average exoplanet. They resemble our Earth almost to a T, or are even more suitable for life than our home. Finding these distant worlds that are similar to our Earth was a masterpiece. Planets are tiny compared to their stars, and even the giant stars appear as tiny specks of light over distances of several light years. For a long time, tracking down exoplanets was like looking for a needle in a haystack. But we have already overcome this hurdle. We have created a telescope that has been able to detect thousands of exoplanets in space. NASA launched the Kepler Space Telescope in 2009, and in a nine-year mission, the telescope scoured thousands of star systems. In the process, the telescope became better and better at detecting the transits of tiny planets in front of their stars. Since the Kepler mission, we know of more than 5,000 exoplanets, and even after the end of the mission in 2018, the search continues every day. Kepler was not alone. We now have a number of telescopes that are able to observe planetary transits and even provide us with details about planets that are sometimes thousands of light years away. The James Webb Space Telescope has been active since the summer of 2022, and this marvel of technology can detect exoplanets even more reliably and even analyze environmental data so that for the first time, we know for sure whether exoplanets harbor water and have an atmosphere. So, our research is progressing rapidly, and we now know for certain of more than 24 worlds that are more suitable for life than Earth. There are probably many more, as we only know a small proportion of exoplanets so far. Webb and Kepler, 2,600 more super-Earths? I bet you didn't know that the Kepler telescope has discovered hundreds of exoplanets that may be better suited to support human life than Earth itself. However, we've only studied a fraction of these planets in detail so far. Detecting the planets is one thing, scanning the environments and learning the details is the other part of the search for Earth-like planets and possibly life in space. The Webb telescope easily accomplishes this work within a few hours. But the telescope's observation times are limited and are also used by numerous other scientific missions. Webb does not only search for and analyze exoplanets. When Webb examines an exoplanet, we know for sure whether it harbors water and whether it has an atmosphere. Webb can even detect so-called biomarkers in a planet's environment. These are gases and elements that are associated with organic life. Webb's MIRI instrument could even detect artificial light on planets and thus find clues to civilizations. Do you also find the idea fascinating that there could be other civilizations all over the universe and that we may just not have managed to make contact yet due to the enormous distances involved? But if we could one day, or if these beings learned of our existence, human life would be elevated to a cosmic level. So far, we are still at the very beginning. But where there is a beginning, there is a way, and we as humans have been following this path unerringly for centuries. We want to know what the universe really is. We want to know how it works, and whether we can travel and explore it. And of course, we want to find out who else is out there. There may be life on these planets. Kepler 452b is one of these planets that has become the focus of humanity's search. Kepler 452b is a rocky planet with a solid surface that could include both continents and oceans. The planet is located 1400 light years away in the constellation Swan and has been known since July 2015. 
NASA scientists discovered it using the transit method when the exoplanet moved in front of the star Kepler-452 and obscured it slightly as a tiny speck. The star Kepler-452 bears an interesting resemblance to our Sun, and its orbital period is 385 days, which is roughly equivalent to one Earth year. And with a diameter that is about one and a half times larger, it's even considered a super-Earth. These planets are usually slightly larger than the Earth, slightly warmer, and orbit stars that have a slightly longer lifespan than our Sun. Astronomers call such stars K-stars, while our Sun is a G-star. Our Sun will burn out after 10 billion years, while K-stars can be active for up to 70 billion years. Researchers assume that highly developed life can form better in the vicinity of long-lived stars because it has a longer period of time to develop. Humans only appeared on Earth, which is around 4.5 billion years old, one million years ago. Now, with a bit of luck, we may have a few hundred thousand more years in which our planet offers optimal living conditions. Then, things could get tight due to climate change. It is precisely because of these future conditions that we are looking for potential alternative worlds. If we want to survive as a species in the long term, we have to set off into space and colonize other planets there. Let's take a look at what potentially habitable exo-worlds the Kepler mission has discovered. Kepler 1625b is a Jupiter-sized exoplanet that has a moon the size of Neptune in tow. Could such a world be a new Earth? If the planet is a rocky planet, then yes. Theoretically, there can also be such giant planets in the universe that nevertheless resemble the Earth. There are planets and stars of all sizes in the universe. Rocky planets of this size could be the absolute exception. But we can never know because the universe has already blown us away with many a surprise. Kepler 37b, for example, is an Earth-like mini-planet that is only about the size of the Earth's moon. So why shouldn't Kepler 1625b also be a possible rocky world despite its size? So far, we don't know for sure about this world which is around 8,000 light years away. We will have to wait until we have more detailed analyses. But at the moment, the planet is not at the top of the list of worlds to be analyzed by Webb. According to scientists, there are worlds that are far more promising. The exoplanet Kepler-91b shows in an almost shocking way that we urgently need to look for other homes. This poor fellow will be swallowed up by its star. Is this a glimpse into the future? as we can also expect on Earth. Kepler-91b will be swallowed up by its home star in 55 million years because it's approaching the end of its life. The star is growing inexorably into a red giant and at some point it will simply burn up its poor planet. The same scenario threatens our system at some point. We will already have problems on Earth if the sun even comes close to starting to inflate. A few degrees rise in temperature can upset and destroy our sensitive ecosystems. We can already see this effect in our greenhouse climate. This development could make the Earth an uncomfortable place in just a few thousand years, and even then we as a species would have to see if there is an alternative somewhere. It is possible that humanity will one day find a new home in the TRAPPIST-1 system. TRAPPIST-1 is strikingly similar to our Sun, and six exoplanets have been detected in its vicinity. The five inner planets orbit their star quite quickly and have completed a year in just 10 to 47 days. Life is rather unlikely on such planets. Even if TRAPPIST-1 is somewhat cooler than our Sun, the radiation on these planets is probably too high for organic life. That leaves the outermost, sixth planet, Kepler-11g. It takes 118 days for one orbit. In 2017, a new investigation of the system also revealed the presence of at least one other planet in the TRAPPIST-1 system. So, is there further hope? It's possible that the outer planets in this system really are Earth-like. However, there is still the problem of the mere 2,000 light-year distance between us and these worlds. Once we have mastered faster than light speed, space would be open to us. With the warp drive, we could even visit almost all Earth-like worlds in the universe. Distance would no longer play a role in this type of transportation. These thoughts are exciting, and many consider them to be fiction. 
However, many research groups around the world are actually working on the development of propulsion systems of the kind that we know from the Starship Enterprise and other space adventures. Kepler proves the theory of relativity is true. I bet you didn't know that it's Einstein's theory of relativity that is currently preventing us from traveling into space. This mother of astrophysics states, among other things, that nothing in four-dimensional space can travel faster than light. If we tried to accelerate mass to the speed of light, we would need so much energy to reach this speed that the amount of force required would be infinite. In practical terms, this means that we cannot muster the energy. Nevertheless, there is something of a loophole. Interdimensional travel or the folding of space-time. The warp drive involves distorting space-time in such a way that a fold is created. The spaceship then slips through a dimensional fold and, strictly speaking, no longer moves within the four-dimensional mesh of space and time. This could mean that Einstein's laws simply no longer apply here. We also don't yet know whether this golden rulebook of astrophysics really describes all phenomena. It was the Kepler telescope, of all things, that provided further proof of the correctness of Einstein's theories. The telescope observed a so-called Einstein ring in the universe for the first time. These are distortions of light around binary stars in which one of the two creates a gravitational lens through its gravity and thus refracts the light in a very specific way. In 2013, Kepler found the object KOI-256 in the constellation Swan, which shows exactly this effect. Here, a small red dwarf star orbits a white dwarf with 0.6 solar masses. But let's hope that Einstein wasn't right about everything and that we humans still have a realistic chance of one day visiting distant planets ourselves. Einstein was certain that we as a species will never have finished learning and that the size and changeability of the universe will always offer us further fields of research and discovery. An Albert Einstein quote, the most important thing is never to stop searching and exploring. There is a good reason that we are endowed with the curiosity and the will to discover things. Subscribe to the channel now and never miss a new video.